So the internet is this huge network of computer networks. And fundamental to the way the internet works are agreements about how things are going to happen. That's the only thing that unites all these networks together and allows them to exchange data effectively. And the internet standards are distributed in this very unusual form that I think says something about the fundamental underlying spirit of openness that is one of the things that makes the internet so interesting, so unique, and so transformative. So here's the story. It's 1969 and the proto-internet is taking shape. There are these devices that were built in Cambridge by a company called BBN that are called Interface Message Processes or IMPs. Those IMPs are beginning to be distributed to different universities around the country. This is part of what became the ARPANET. Part of the goal was actually not to build a worldwide computer network, but simply to allow universities to share information and to share computer resources more efficiently. Now, these imps are being sent out and eagerly awaiting them at each university site are teams of graduate students. And these students are the ones who are receiving these, they're unpacking them, they're getting them to work, they're hooking them up to other things, they're playing around with them. They are super excited to have this new piece of computer hardware to use. And I don't think any of them would have predicted exactly what would happen and exactly what the internet would become, but they were part of it in the very, very early days. Now, Keep in mind, these are graduate students. And so, you know, they're not high on the totem pole necessarily uh, in the, you know, uh, research, uh, sort of research hierarchy within the United States. And as they started to, so they, but they had to start standardizing things. They had to start to come up with agreements about how things were going to work. And when they did that, they approached it with this level of sort of humility and openness and a little bit of a sort of a playful spirit. And what that led to was the RFC system that is how the internet is documented today. So the internet is documented through a series of what are called RFCs. Uh, this is the first one. And RFC stands for Request for Comments. And I find this to be really, really wonderful, right? I mean, this is the fundamental uh, basis of collaboration, right? I have an idea. I want you to comment on it. I want feedback on it. I want you to help me make it better. Um, this is uh, April 7th, 1969. This was written by Steve Crocker at UCLA. And this RFC is discussing um, cer certain aspects of you know, a summary of the AMP software and some uh, requirements for how things were going to work. Um, and there is a, there's a nice uh, sentence right here. Very little of what is here is firm and reactions are expected. So the, these, these graduate students, one of them actually said, you know, the way we felt is at some point the adults are going to show up and tell us exactly how the system should work. But in the meantime, we've got to make some progress here. And so when we're d distributing these protocols and these new standards, they're doing it in a way that's, that's very, you know, it's a sort of a very uh, open, collaborative, not trying to be in charge, asking other people for help, right? Now, the RFC system, um, uh, if you look up RFCs, um, let's see here. There's a whole, there are many, many, many RFCs now. Um, they are, let's see here. Um, I don't know even what the most recent RFC is, but there are thousands of RFCs now. Those RFCs document pretty much every part of the internet. And the RFC system is still in use for people to discuss new ideas, propose new ways things should work. Um, there, the RFC uh, catalog is wonderful. It's full of really open technical writing, uh, humor, uh, extremely transformative documents that, that were the basis for certain things that, uh, certain ways that the internet works. But the entire uh, enterprise is built around this idea of collaboration, openness, and an interest in having, a, 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 a having an understanding of how somebody else might feel about what it is you want to do, right? So I think this is a really cool system. If, as we're going through, if you're interested about how things work, we'll provide pointers to these RFCs uh, because these are, to some degree, these have the final say in how different internet protocols and how different internet services work.